Hey everyone, it's Angela Allen. Welcome back to The Handmade Homestead. Well, we're in day eight of the Every Bit Counts Challenge put on every year in the month of August by Three Rivers Homestead. And we are working our way through. We're getting a lot done. Now we've done a lot of green beans, that's true. And we have more, <laughs> we have more. But the other thing that's coming in really strong this year is herbs and tomatoes. Can you believe that? This isn't even my biggest tomato. I haven't had a bigger one, but when I pulled it off, half of it was, was right, half of it wasn't quite, and uh, it wasn't usable. So I ended up throwing it away. But this is a big tomato, and I'll put the picture of me weighing it right up there so that you guys can see how big this really is. And keep in mind, this tomato, this is a normal tomato. This is a normal size. <laughs> tomato. Isn't that funny? I'm trying to remember if these are pineapple tomatoes. I think they're pineapple tomatoes. And you can see it was a faciated blossom, but tomatoes are coming in strong. Herbs are coming in strong. So those things are on our, our radar for today. I'll see you in a minute. But first, let's take a little walk through the garden and see what we can find. This right here on both the left and the right are tomato rows. That's one of my arches and those are trombancino squash. I have zinnias and other flowers all over the garden for the pollinators and they just make it so pretty and so cottage garden style. Well, let's get some tomatoes picked and get to work. Those extra large cherries on the right that you just saw, those are Juliet tomatoes and they are my all time favorite for canning and preserving. They're an extra large cherry. They are disease resistant. They almost never crack. They're very prolific and they keep producing until the frost kills the plant. So I'm gonna sort through all the tomatoes, pull out the ripe ones, and bag them like I usually do. All right, so each big gallon size bag of tomatoes that go in the freezer, again, I'm gonna make sauce with them later, is almost seven, seven and a half pounds of tomatoes. I'm putting these two in for today. And if I swoop around here, you can see how my tomato collection on the counter now works. Looks a little bit better. I got some counter back. All those still have to ripe, they'll go in in the next couple of days, they'll be ripened enough. There we go. All right, so these goes in, go in the freezer downstairs. I've already got, I think, five or six big bags like this. So, you know, I've got almost, you know, 45, 50 pounds of tomatoes frozen that I will process into spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, regular tomato sauce, and pizza sauce that we will use all winter all the way through till next July when we have fresh tomatoes but in the meantime till I get through the summer preserving season they go in the freezer and they just wait until I have time and it's cool enough for me to be able to run a big roaster oven in my kitchen for a day or two to make all of that sauce so here I go to the freezer and then on to the next thing so next up let's get some herbs on the dehydrator this is a great big bowl of Tulsi basil or holy basil. It's one of my favorite teas to drink, both hot and iced. I very rarely wash herbs before I dehydrate them. I'm an organic gardener and they're all planted in garden beds where there are no animals that can pester them, pee on them or anything else. And if they're dirty, I just don't pick them. I end up putting them in the compost pile. Now this is apple mint, my other favorite herb to drink, both cold and hot. Again, I will strip the leaves, put them on the dehydrator trays. I like to run the dehydrator full, so if I don't fill it, I go outside, I grab some more herbs and fill the rest of the trays. 
So I did mint tea, lemon balm tea, and holy basil tea today. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day nine of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. Take care. The Handmade Homestead can be found on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, and we look forward to seeing you there. Remember to like and subscribe. It helps so much, and we appreciate your time.